If you're looking to create a GIF, look no further than using Screencastify. GIFs are really great ways to chunk information on a loop. So what you're going to do is you're going to record a video using Screencastify. It's really important that the video is very short. You don't want a long video, that can just be a regular Screencastify. But to make a GIF effective, it needs to be really short. So for example, I have my recorded video here. As you can see, it's 12 seconds long. So what I'm going to do then is, once I stop my screencast recording, this window pops up. So instead of sharing it just from my drive, what I want to actually do on the bottom right hand side is I want to export it as an animated GIF. So once you click export it as an animated GIF, this screen pops up telling you what size that you want your GIF to become. Then you're going to hit export. Once it's exporting, it's actually going to show you down here um, a little bar that shows you uh, when it's done and how much longer it has to complete. Once it's done, it's going to look like this, and it's going to allow you to download the GIF. So you can download it to your desktop if you have a laptop or a PC device. If you have a Chromebook, it's going to save to your Google Drive. What you want to do then is you can use it either in a Google Doc, Google Slides, in an email, and you can push it out to the person who you need to see it. So what I'm going to show you here is how you would do that in a Google Doc. What's important to note with GIFs is that it doesn't save as a video, it actually saves as an image. So when you go to insert, you want to hit image and you want to upload it from your computer. Here is the GIF file and I'm going to open it. I now have my GIF located in my Google Doc. So again, it's a great way to chunk information for those who need it or for those who just need a little bit more repetition to understand a concept. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your learning technologies consultant.